today my friend Christy has come over and she found five little baby bunnies, little cottontails in her high grass at her property and the dogs were getting at them. So she protected them, but it doesn't look like the mom is coming back. So we are gonna go. Oh, and she put them right in her pocket because everyone, you know, finds baby bunnies and puts them in their pocket, right? Because that's just what you do. <laughs> so we're gonna go to a wildlife rescue worker and figure out how to keep these little guys alive gonna be a fun field trip. Look at that baby. There's another one. They're licking each other. That is so precious. <laughs> so we're here at Desiree's house. She's a permitted wildlife rescuer and she has a front yard garden too. So I'm gonna let Sarah take a look at her garden for us. <laughs> it's beautiful. This is just what I want in the entrance of my garden. Desiree, she's a permitted wildlife rescuer. Yes. Right? And you've been doing this for about 10 years. Right. And yes. what is the most unusual creature that you've rescued? Well, mostly um, I do bunnies. I have done a poss some possums and some squirrels, but primarily I do um, cottontail rabbits because okay. that's my specialty. But And they don't have a lot of rehabbers in the area. So. Okay. So she's the expert teaching us how to save these little Yeah. Babies. I'll be happy to mentor y'all. Yeah. Thank you so much. You're welcome. If I could do it? I think you can. Yeah. Basically what I do is I look for any wounds mm -hmm. by pushing for the opposite direction. Mm -hmm. and my dog got twice, I heard squeaky. Mm -hmm. One I caught in his mouth. Right. What kind of dog? Uh, he's part retriever, mm -hmm. so I don't think... Yeah, they can't help it. It's natural know. for him yeah, I know. to but, do that. Yeah. And then I always check the legs to see how they're doing. Mm -hmm. Make sure that they have use of I'm checking reflexes like mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. and yeah he hasn't eaten. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, again then you're going to check for how dehydrated he is. And he's not bad. He's okay. a little dehydrated but not, not, not like not, this one. Not like that okay. one. So he's not bad. My guess is this is the one that he got first. Yeah. Okay. She's checking them all out. This is fascinating. Yeah. Okay. You stay here, buddy. You want me to hold that? Yeah. I have another hand. Okay. You can always give it to one of the girls. Yes, you can take a picture, buddy. Yeah, this guy has really good right. reflexes. So he checks the reflexes. Mm -hmm. Okay. And check the belly. That's actually, I always do this. Uh, it calms the bunny down. It mm -hmm. almost puts them in a little trance if you rub their belly like this. Okay. Just, you just kind of rub their belly and it soothes them and they kind of relax and so then you can kind of work with them a little bit without them getting stressed okay. and again I'm just checking to make sure they have blood flow and that their um, limbs are good mm -hmm. and then I'm going to check for any injuries so in that way I'm just going to feel the bones and also check for any punctures or degloving hold on baby again a little dehydrated okay. but not severe okay so uh, like a one to five scale we'd say one okay. so we could do oral hydration on these guys okay um and by looking at the bunny's face the eyes are open mm -hmm. they it, just opened so they're about 10 days old that's what i yeah, yeah. usually okay. between 10 and 14 days old 
Okay. And you can tell he's still very young because his ears are still back. Mm -hmm. So he's pretty young. He's mm -hmm. only about 10 days. Okay. How are you, buddy? Let's calm you down a little bit. Oh, yes, your belly is empty. Mm -hmm. Uh-huh, you're hungry. Oh, goodness, yes. You're going to be feisty. Bunnies are a very high stress animal. Mm -hmm. They actually have a mechanism that will cause them to have a heart attack mm -hmm. if they're super frightened. Um, kind of is a nature's way of saying, hey, we know you're a prey animal. And, you know, if a hawk gets you, at least you can be, you know, deceased by the time he eats you. Mm -hmm. You know. I thought about it that way. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Maybe that's. Okay, buddy. Okay. <laughs> He says, I'm not real crazy about this. Okay, yep, that one looks good. The last one. Come here, baby. Yeah. Oh, look at you, yes. And you can see um, that their mm -hmm. tummy is... They were fat. I yeah. Have, I have a picture there. Yeah. Their tummy should be rounded. Yeah, they were. Okay. I kept waiting for the mom, you know, hoping she Sometimes, would come back. Um, sometimes when there's been a dog in the nest, mm -hmm. um, and there's been blood spilled, she won't come back okay. because she fears the predator. Mm -hmm. Um, and that's one of the reasons moms don't stay on the nest mm -hmm. to begin with, mm -hmm. is, um, the little tiny babies don't have a smell, mm -hmm. so they don't have an odor about them, mm -hmm. and it's harder for predators to find them. But if mom stays on the nest, mm -hmm. she does, and then mm -hmm. it's easier oh. for them. So she typically comes twice a day, once early mm -hmm. in the morning. Mm -hmm dawn and then again at dusk to feed them and she only stays about five minutes yeah feed them gone okay. yeah, she doesn't go real far but okay. um, this guy has a little mark um, I wonder if he's the one let's see right there above his eye right mm -hmm. there it's just mm -hmm. a scratch okay but and it's it doesn't feel anything more than just a little scratch so okay. no worries there he'll be fine um, and I don't know if you noticed that um, most of the rabbits that are cottontails have little white blaze right here, mm -hmm. but not all of them. Mm -hmm. You can barely see his in there. Mm -hmm. um, people will tell you that once that white blaze disappears, it means they're old enough to be on their own. That's a falsehood. No. If you look at them, some of them will have it. These are not ready to be on there. No, and some of them don't. Um, these guys are about 10 days, and they can't be released till they're about six weeks old. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, and eating well on their own, and we also want to wait till their fear factor pops in, mm -hmm. which happens between five and six weeks old, depending on the bunny. So what you end up having is um, ones that uh, they will freeze, mm -hmm. and you can easily pick them up mm -hmm. before them, even as they're a little mm -hmm. bit bigger. They won't run off. They may hop up and crawl around a little bit, but they won't actually try to get away from you. Um, okay. These guys... Typically get found about this age by dogs and cats because mm -hmm. they're just getting mobile. Mm -hmm. They're just adventuring out of the nest a little bit, mm -hmm. but they don't go very far. Mm -hmm. um, so that's why they start being seen by animals and people. Mm -hmm. but yeah, they're very healthy. Okay. You just have to feed them. Okay. So do you want to see how to do that? Yes, please. All right. So what I use is a syringe, and this is a miracle, what's called a miracle nipple. The other nipples I use are these, and they're called mother's nipples. Okay. They're just two different types. Where do I get types. those? You can order them online from like um, Squirrels and More or Jeffers or... Is there anything I can get? Local? Yeah. No. Okay. Almost have to order it on, but I'll give you a couple of things if you want to give it a try. Okay. Um, I'll show you how And then what is, what are you giving me? This is raw goat's milk. Raw goat's mm -hmm. milk? Okay. Feel the temperature of it. No, feel oh. the milk. Hot, right? It's warm. Yeah. Yeah. Needs to be that warm or warmer. So body, like it feels like body. Yeah. You sure. can, uh, okay. if it's too cool, they won't eat. Okay. Okay. And sometimes when they already have their eyes open, they might fight you. Because mm -hmm. you're going to hold the head between your thumb and your forefinger. Mm -hmm. Firmly, okay. not mm -hmm. squeezing, but just mm -hmm. firmly mm -hmm. turning. So you can see his mouth. Mm -hmm. You're going to go into the side. Mm -hmm. Right here. Oh, I do that with my chicken. Yeah. Go in like that. Oh. And then 
give them a little wiggle. What about aspirating? You have to be careful with that when they're little. Um, mm -hmm. This age, not so much as okay. the tinier ones. The biggest problem you might have with these guys that our eyes are already open mm -hmm. is they're frightened. Um, mm -hmm. So um, if they don't eat well for you, mm -hmm. what you do is you can cover their eyes. Hmm. So that works with my chickens. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. You just cover the eyes. And right now he's eating good. He's eating good. And how much was it? Seven millimeters. Again? This is just a one millimeter syringe. Okay. So for his size, he probably needs four or five okay. at each feeding, feeding him three times a day. Okay. Great baby, it's okay. There we go. After you do this about three times, they'll get the hang of it, mm -hmm. and it won't be a problem. They'll be fine. So he's already trying to eat. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Mm -hmm. And with bunnies, if they're younger, you know, you have to stimulate them. They won't pee on their own till their eyes open. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. these guys, you won't have to worry about that. Basic thing to look for is watch for if they get diarrhea. Mm -hmm. um, younger than this, I usually feed them a formula mm -hmm. that's made for eastern cottontails. Mm -hmm. But this age, um, the fat content is too high. Mm -hmm. So I just feed them raw goat's milk. Okay. And Where do you get raw goat milk? From different farmers that have goats um oh, you can buy we should be able to find that yeah yeah uh, sometimes you can find it at a feed store mm. um worst case you can buy regular goat smoke like at a, at a grocery store um mm -hmm. it just doesn't have the same probiotics as the raw goat smoke does mm -hmm. and rabbits typically like it because it's a little sweeter tasting the goat smoke is how did you warm your milk i heated that in the microwave right quick okay um when I'm out in my little barn area, mm -hmm. I use a crock pot. Mm -hmm. It's meant for heating your lunch in, like mm -hmm. it's a tiny, tiny one. Mm -hmm. um, and you put water in it and set your like soup or whatever inside mm -hmm. it. Mm -hmm. And so I use these little jars um, mm -hmm. and set them in the water and it keeps it more uh, a steady warm mm -hmm. so it doesn't scald and stuff like that. So I raised, well, my son had a rabbit, rabbit business raising mm -hmm. Holland Lops, mm -hmm. and we have tried to revive bunnies. So if that ever happens, you said that at a younger age you would use it different than raw goat's milk, mm -hmm. but it's specifically for the cottontail. Mm -hmm. So if we had a litter, so one time we had a litter of eight, and the mm -hmm. mom just, it was, she was a new mom, she, she just refused, rejected, yeah. she just didn't know what was going on, Right. and we tried so hard. That's why I'm really interested in this one now. Right. How do you do that? But um, so if we if that happened again, what would you use to feed them then? Um, use kitten milk or um, puppy milk replacement milk form. Okay, you could just get that at the pet in store. Any pet store, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, for a domestic rabbit. Okay, and then would you switch to the goat milk as they get older? Yes. Or? Okay. Yeah. Um, so when they're about. About two to three weeks, two old. weeks old. Okay. Um, I, I tend to mix the goat's milk with the formula. Usually formula asks you to mix water with it. So when I have a baby baby, I start him out with formula mixed with goat's milk and mm -hmm. gradually de decrease the amount of formula to the amount of goat's milk. So the ratio changes. Okay. So say you're on a, um, a two to one ratio. You might have two parts um, formula, I mean, one part formula, two parts goat's milk. Right. Okay. And then as they um, are not dehydrated at all, you might go to a equal amount, two parts, two parts. Okay. So, or one to one, however you want to look at it. So right. they'd be equal parts. And then as they get older, then I start changing it to be um, one part goats, I mean, one part formula, two parts goats milk, okay. one part formula, three parts goats milk, mm -hmm. no formula, all goats milk. Okay. And like that. Same thing when you start to wean them, that's when they're most susceptible to have a problem. Because when you're leaving the goat's milk to no milk, just water, you do the same thing, all goat's milk. Then you're gonna do three parts goat's milk, one part water. water. Oh, two parts okay. goat's milk, two parts water. Okay. Yeah, or one part water, right. then one and one, and then you get to just water. Okay. So you have to do it slowly and gradually over a period of yeah. days. Okay, so should Christy do this too? With these guys, yes. Yeah, okay. Yeah. So when they get to, to be about 
when they get to be about three weeks old, three another weeks week old. or so. Then start adding in the water. Yes, and okay. slowly moving okay. them to just water. And you'll want them to lap. <laughs> and it's critical that you weigh them so that you'll know if they're losing weight. Okay, so you so, have a little scale. Yeah, yeah. so okay. if you weigh them grams, it's the best way to weigh them. Okay. Because you want to know that um, they're not losing in at the weaning mm -hmm. stage. Mm -hmm. So first things you want to start feeding them are um, alfalfa mm -hmm. and roll oats. Mm -hmm. Let them nibble on it. You can go ahead and put a little handful in there now. They probably won't eat much of it, but they'll get the idea. Mm -hmm. Okay, so they can start nibbling on it. Um, but you still want to give them their three full feedings of milk. Mm -hmm. okay. And then... Um, and how much did you put in there, like for one feeding? They would get... This is only a one cc syringe. It's okay. been used multiple times, so it's doesn't have his number on there, but it's it's a one cc syringe. Mm -hmm. So you would want to give him three to five cc's. Oh, you can okay. use a bigger syringe um, if you want to. Um, I just have been feeding little tiny babies, so that's what I've had in here. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, it's easier with the little ones to keep from aspirating them with this size. Mm. Uh, because as I push on it, it doesn't let very much out, see? Oh, yeah. Where a bigger syringe is going to have a bigger flow. Yeah, so yeah, it's that, easier that to get too much in their us. mouth. Yeah. Yeah. So you want to use a little tiny one like that. And you um, sometimes they want to eat. You wiggle it around, push it in out. Or you can um, kind of rub the side of their face and then they'll get mm -hmm. going again. Mm -hmm. so, like I said, the first time you probably just want to give him a little taste mm -hmm. and then go back and feed him some more. Um, It's kind of like if you sort of think about it, like if you had not eaten, you had fasted several days, mm -hmm. you wouldn't go back to your normal diet mm -hmm. immediately, mm -hmm. right? Get your stomach shrunk. Yeah, and you'll make yourself sick mm -hmm. if you, so if he eats too much right away, it will make him sick. So today would be different than most days. Um, you're going to feed him more often today, smaller mm -hmm. amounts, okay. um, and then gradually go back to three feedings of four to five cc's. Okay. So when do you think? So today's Friday. Yeah, so if you do today with just multiple feedings, mm -hmm. um, by tomorrow, he should be okay to go to the three. Okay. So, you want to try one? Yes. Okay. I know she put his feet on the ground. I put his feet is on... Is that how they nurse naturally? Well, that just is, it makes him feel more comfortable than being up in the air. Mm -hmm. um, when you see them pushing their feet like that, mm -hmm. that doesn't mean they're trying to get away. That's them pushing on mama's belly. Yeah. Okay. So don't think that means, hey, leave me alone, I'm not hungry. Mm -hmm. It's their way of pushing on the belly. Can you so, put a stuffed animal like right You could, yeah. yeah. Okay. But they do nurse that way because yeah. the, yeah. the mom rabbit just hunches over, over. them and they yeah. climb up to the, so right. they are kind of up and down. Yeah, they are yeah. kind of like this and they okay. use their That's paws, smart, their yeah. front paws to kind of push. Mm -hmm. Turn his head. Yeah, so his front paws. <laughs> She made it look really easy, huh? Sure did. Yeah. One finger over her eyes yeah, and kind of one finger there. to hold the feet down yeah. and another finger. <laughs> the group I belong to is Texas Metro Wildlife Rehabbers. Like and um, they we have um, people who rehab all across the DFW area. Everything from skunks, mm -hmm. possums, bats, mm -hmm. um, whatever you can think My of. My husband raccoons. raised a raccoon. Yeah, yeah. raccoons. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, squirrels, yeah. rabbits, there's all kinds of different ones that different people work with. Mm -hmm. um, and then we always encourage you to, to get your permit at some point. Typically you have to 
mentor under somebody for about a year mm -hmm. and then um, the permitting process is not that difficult and I'd be happy to help you with it. Okay. So, if you know you've they're aspirated as you're feeding them, mm -hmm. if you hold one side of the nostril down, it'll come out the other side. Okay. So if you know like you're feeding it and it, you see it milk yeah. in the nose, mm -hmm. stop feeding them, push one side down and then wait a second and it'll come out the other side. If you ever hear a clicking sound mm -hmm. from the rabbit, that means they did aspirate yeah. and I need to get them on antibiotics yeah. if that happens. Yeah. So otherwise they'll get pneumonia. I don't believe that got her to eat or him. Yay. We're frozen, so just let it dissolve. Okay. Um, syringes, ones, threes, and fives. Okay. Ignore oh, wow. what it says right there. That's not true. Okay. None of these have needles. Um, okay. I put you a couple mothers and one uh, miracle. Okay. Would have given you more, but that's my last one. No. Or oh, more. Awesome. Uh, this is a pouch that they like to get in. Oh. Nice. So I wasn't too power. far yeah. off, was yes. I? Yeah. Yeah. When I walked in, you were like, oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. Here's a couple of blankets one. that they, they're just some old uh -huh. infant blankets. Yeah. Um, I get them from a place that distributes those when they're no longer good at the hospital. Oh, you're welcome. This is the last one. Yeah, I'm just going to let it in your.